He saw some hints of the sunshine from time to time today, but overall it was a mostly cloudy one, and that's certainly what you can see on a Roanoke sky cam. Cloudy skies, and we're actually seeing a few rain droplets falling here in Roanoke, and this is all along a boundary that is drifting off to the north, so continuing to stir up some of the shower activity. Most of the activity is on the lighter side of things, but we are seeing a pocket of more moderate rainfall just north of Rocky Mount heading towards 220. This activity is moving in that east northeasterly fashion. Also seeing some shower activity right near Withville moving along the 77 corridor, also along the 81 corridor. So this is the kind of activity that we're going to see kind of pop up and die off as we continue these evening and overnight hours. Also seeing a few spotty showers right around Martinsville and Ridgeway. And again, the boundary, it's very slow moving and these are just firing up along that boundary and it's going to continue to drift to the more north rather as we head into the overnight hours. So timing everything out through the eight o'clock hour, it's not going to be as intense as what future trackers trying to represent here. Much like what we're currently seeing on our radar, just light to moderate rain showers very far and few in between, and that's going to be the case through the 11 o'clock hour. Just a few hit or miss rain showers. And then by after midnight, that boundary is to the north of here, and that's certainly where the showers are going to kind of remain there through Tuesday morning. So we're going to start Tuesday off dry, but unfortunately we really won't see a whole lot of sunshine. But on the flip side, we're going to maintain more of that south southwesterly wind, keeping some warmer air in place. So temperatures on Tuesday are actually expected to top out in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Then we have another boundary. Right now it's out towards the central plains and upper Midwest. It passes through here late in the afternoon and into the overnight hours. It's going to stir up some shower activity. We also can't rule out the possibility of an isolated thunderstorm or two towards Tuesday afternoon. Notice we still see a few showers towards Tuesday evening. And then we have more shower activity as we continue into our Wednesday. Wednesday is not looking like a washout. Most of the activity that we're going to see will be passing through Wednesday morning. And we're actually going to start some clearing in the overnight hours. But notice we do have some cooler air on the back side of the system. We kind of have a one 2 punch this week. First round of a cold front that colder air that works in will be midweek and then another punch comes our way towards the weekend. That secondary punch right there, the 20s and 30s. So unfortunately, yes, our calendar does say spring, but we do have some cooler air on the way towards the end of the work week, especially right now. We're in that warmer pocket of air that I mentioned. We're sitting at 62 in Martinsville, 55 in Roanoke, 58 currently in Blacksburg and temperatures really won't fall a whole lot tonight. We're looking at overnight lows in the 40s with mostly cloudy skies and a few showers until about midnight tonight. Most of tomorrow will be dry. We're just looking at a stray shower here and there, mostly focused towards the afternoon hours and into our overnight hours too as that boundary pushes through. Wednesday will not be a washout, just rain showers in the morning and then we clear everything out. That one two punch I mentioned. Mm. See that on Thursday, our temperatures drop into the 50s and we have the 30s. Also, the second punch comes Friday into Saturday. Yeah, I, we see that Saturday. I'll ignore that icon <laughs> for now. <laughs>